Lisa Boho. It is Tuesday night. It is Valentine's Day. If you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, it's February 14th. <laughs> if you celebrate Galentine's Day, whatever you celebrate, even if you don't, uh, happy whatever. <laughs> it's Tuesday. We're going to do some thrifting tonight, but there is a lot of stuff that I need to cover. So I'm going to do this pretty quick. Number one, tonight after this airs. So I'm airing this early, you have plenty of time. I will be on Kat the Nurse Flippers channel. She invited me back. I will be on as a guest with Yvonne, Yvonne Thrifty Rich, and of course Kat and her co-host Rod from Picking and Punching. So that will be awesome. If you are a reseller or considering reselling, that is the place to tune in every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Lots of great information, lots of questions get answered, and uh, it's a pretty fun time too. So meet me there tonight. I will put a link right down at the top of the information box below so that you can find us. Go over there, hit notify so that you can, you know, join us right at eight o'clock. I'm really looking forward to that. Second order business. I am doing an unlive sale this week. This is the middle of the month, so we are going to sell 10 things. Take a look at what I'm bringing to this month's sale. one more thing going into tomorrow's sale and that is this beautiful little set of hand painted pieces these little houses now these came to me via a friend of the channel her name is Amy as well and she thrifted these but she said I would love to send some money to Ukraine is there any chance that you could include these in a sale and maybe do that because you have a little bigger of an audience? And I said, sure, I made an exception. I don't normally do this, but you know, it's Ukraine and I think that that's a great cause. So I am including these in the sale. I'm gonna start these at $20. I'm hoping somebody loves them as much as I do <laughs> because at that I might just keep them <laughs> contribute some money. They're so, beautiful and whimsical and they're all signed by the artist the artist is Dovana d-o-v-a-n-a i have done no research i have looked up nothing about these not even translated these so i don't know <laughs> anything um all i know is that i'm hoping that somebody will love them that there will be a little bit of a battle for them love lives here all you need is love isn't that wonderful I'll add more details and I'll show you everything else up close and personal in tomorrow's unlive sale. So don't miss that. All right, now it's time to go thrifting. I am going to take you into the bins. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I bought. We're gonna hit the retail side. There's gonna be amazingness and then it's going to be continued on Thursday. <laughs> That's right, it's a two-parter. Don't hate me, I'm even gonna include a cliffhanger. I know that's evil, but it's kind of fun for me. So without further ado, let's go shopping. Friday afternoon in the bins and we came in when they're switching stuff out so this stuff is probably going to be really picked over but we're going to give it a look and we are only limiting our time today to about an hour because we did the estate sale and then checked out the discovery shop There's something hiding underneath it. Nope. See a little salt and pepper shaker. Is there a match? There's a match. It's kind of cute. Here comes the parade of. Pray to bins. Wow, that is heavy. Big chip there. I just felt it when I went to grab it. Oh, we got some five by seven frames. Oops, so 
still looking for some. Those are somewhat vintage, not very quality, but that one's busted. Uh, I might take that one. missing something that hung there but I wonder if I could find something that could hang there he is going into the storage bin for later this year he's missing a little piece to him I will show you a picture of what it's supposed to look like up here it is only a made in China piece but the details are so wonderful and I think it'll be very cool to hang a small ornament here or maybe just a jingle bell. So I will put it in the booth. It'll probably go back over there at the end of October <laughs> because that's when we stock for the holidays. Spooky hollow. Little candles, he's got a ding on his ear. Creations. He's cute too. With his little beard. He's very crazed though. I don't like when things get that like split crazing in them. No. What is this guy? He's a hobbyist piece. Oh my. He's wearing tennis shoes. <laughs> He's pretty epic. Look at him. Unfortunately, he's busted right here. But put a plant in him. <laughs> yeah, put a plant in him. You would never know. I like how he's wearing those Converse like a champ. Yeah, they uh, open the other side up. And they have to tell people not to run. That always makes me laugh. You're adults. You're adults, but don't run. Look at this huge bin full of toys and media. I've mentioned in the past, I have a pretty fun CD collection. I do love to listen to them. And occasionally I will find some CDs to add. I have a lot of them. So it's a wonder that I actually picked up four. I love movie soundtracks and this one is I Am Sam. It had a bunch of great artists that I already love, including Sarah McLachlan, Ben Harper, Black Crows, just a lot of really good uh, names on there. Andrea Bocelli, amazing voice. Um, I do have a couple other CDs by Andrea, but I do not have this one. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Who watched this? I loved this. In fact, I was just watching the like show finale uh, the other day. It was pretty funny. Um, but I just thought this would be a fun little soundtrack to have. And then The Shins. I'm a fan of the shins and I don't believe I have this one, but I'm gonna have to look because I would be surprised. I'm just not sure. And for, you know, a few cents to pick it up, makes sense. <laughs> Elvis Presley, Blue Christmas. That one's actually sealed. Got some hard goods here. Hobby Lobby. Kind of cool. I think it would be good for soup. I mean, look at it. It's the size of my head. <laughs> um, but it's beautiful. And what I love about it is it's moths. You don't see a lot of things with moths. You see a lot of things with butterflies. But this is kind of cool. I think it'll be a great one to put over in our mug collection over at the shop. Um, it is brand new. It's made by 222 Fifth, which I have purchased in the past. Some 222 Fifth stuff. It sells very well. I'll put it in a box for fall and it will go over to the booth for the mug selection. Unless of course somebody is obsessed with moths and sees this, then of course you can always reach out to me. 
all of my viewers have first dibs on anything that I find, just email me at my email address and say, hey, I need that moth mug. <laughs> this one retailed at Hobby Lobby for $12 and I have found it online for, for upwards of 20. So I'll probably be in the 15 to $18 range when I put it over at the shop. Are you still looking for picture frames? Yeah, 5x7s. I found one over on the other side. There's one 5x7. Oh, that's a that's pretty a basic fancy. one. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Do you want modern frameless? Yeah, I'll take that. I ended up with three frames. I've been looking for these five by sevens because they are perfect for my friend Richard's cards. I want to include a bunch of framed cards over at the shop and these were nice ones. Now this one's just a simple black one, but this one is a pretty wood inlaid. Very nice frame. And this one is actually a vintage stained glass frame. So that may work for something that's a little bit art deco. I bought some other frames. Now these are just the kind of inexpensive acrylic ones. And I also found these larger ones, which are gonna be great for the booths when we have some sales because we can put flyers in them and they don't have to stick to the wall. They can kind of just pop around on the shelves. Um, so that's nice. Love to find things that are useful over there in the bins. So I've never seen these before, but this, there were two other ones down in here. Let me grab the one cute little cat although the ends there of the leaves are busted off but it says paw prints and these are made by global which kind of surprised me um, there's another one in here there's a lot of broken stuff in here and this one has a broken handle on this little basket but see what it looks like too cute right but this one didn't have any damage little tiny needs a little bit of paint right there but we'll check them out. Did y'all know that Goebel made resin figurines? Because I didn't. <laughs> These are called paw prints. And you can see right there, they're made by Goebel. And this one was just stinking cute. They'll go over to the shop. I will share here on screen what I can expect for them. I love looking through all the donated ornaments over at the bins. <laughs> Everybody drops off these big bags and they're usually like 80 to 90 percent bleh and then there's like one or two things in there. This little clown just grabbed my attention. Uh, I don't normally do clowns, y'all know, but he's really super cool and so I snagged him and then somewhere down the line I also found a bunch of garland, all wooden. I think each one's about 10 feet long, so about 20 feet worth of garland. And again, these will go in the storage box back over to the shop in October. There were a few more things that I found and they were off camera that I wanna share with you. So real quick, adorable little snowman says, be mine. <laughs> Uh, he would have gone over already to the shop, but I noticed he's missing a little tiny bee on the top of his hat. And I totally want to recreate one of these with my poly clay and give him a little bee on his hat. So he is going in the project box and I will be recording a video where I will repair or add to several things that are over in my project box so that y'all can see kind of how I do that. And it's fun anyway, so we'll do that. I can't believe he was down in there and he is in such nice shape. He has a little Japan on his belly. Look at that, his leaf is there and his rose is complete and he is just totally adorable. Kind of kitschy, very cute. Look at his little tail up. <laughs> I found one more thing for the Christmas box, and that is a set of tea light stained glass angels. Red, green, and amber. Aren't they nice? They have these little platforms behind them for your tea light. And I got the whole set of three. I think one was in a box and two were 
somewhere else, but I assembled them and I am happy to have them. I think they'll go right into the booth and they'll sell pretty well. Very nice. Then I found a couple of things for Easter. These guys, they have little poseable ears and this is a candle holder, but I don't know why. <laughs> this is like a house fire waiting to happen. I probably won't even include the candle when I sell it just because the thought of something burning right here <laughs> behind those plush ears is not good. But this is a resin piece. These are very reminiscent of other things that I've seen that were sold at Joanne stores back in the day. And then finally, help me settle this weirdness here. I found a bunny and a basket. <laughs> and I found another bunny. And I can't figure out, is the bunny supposed to go with the basket? It's salt and pepper, right? So is the bunny like, you know, like, hey, here's my uh, egg basket. Or is this a hugging set? I don't know. Because my thought is if there was another basket somewhere and it got broken, does it, you know, it wouldn't like fit with him. I don't know. This is definitely two different bunnies because this one is like salt and this one's pepper. Um, <laughs> and this one has three holes. So can I sell them all together? Is there such a thing? I guess if you were having like a holiday dinner, you might need, you know, two salts and a pepper. <laughs> I don't know. Way in here. What do you think I have here? What am I missing? And what should I do? Should I sell them all together? Or should I just kind of decide that like this one and this one go together? Or I don't know. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this. Okay, let's go get started on the retail side. I'm so excited about this. It's kind of epic. Let's go. We are finally in the retail side of the Goodwill. I'm on a green end cap. Heavy. Aww. Looks like I might have some damage on it. Sometimes they don't bring them back. Well, yeah. You know they're very busy here. I don't understand. That's cute. I debated this, but how could I debate this? Random little frogs on this planter. Now there's some little missing paint areas around here and I think I might touch them up. I'm not sure. It looks like it's sold at Kohl's for about $25. Now I have found other ones online or at least one more um, and they had it priced pretty high. So I did decide to grab it. I do have some frog lovers. So it might have to uh, go to a friend. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's awesome though. I paid 35% off of $4 for it. So remember, all of the prices that you see, 35% off is what we're paying for them. Beth found this pretty tray. Probably a teak or a monkey pod maybe. It's not marked. Nope. But yeah, you could do something really clever with that, with those little pockets. And then I spotted these. These are kind of neat. And we think they are bookends, right? They're a nice, nice shape. That's what I'm going to get them for. $3 each, which would make them $4 for the set. Right. Yeah, four for the set. I think those will look good in the booth. Sometimes I wish that I could just like hand things <laughs> through the camera to you so you could feel the quality of things, the weight of them. Um, yeah, this is like a really nice hand built set. And I think they have screws on them. So I think that they could be used in a different way as corbels. Like you could put them underneath a shelf to hold a shelf up like that, which would be absolutely beautiful. But I saw them as potential bookends because look how beautiful that would be as well. So I could probably just let the buyer decide what they're gonna do with them. 
but I think either way they're going to sell. Yes. A huge bowl. Yes, it is. A huge bowl. Here, here's another one. Oh my gosh. That is a reed. Yeah, you pick up the good one. Look at you. <laughs> I said, I said. You said what? This, well, this is one of those pencil. I see that. Yeah, that's nice. Do you remember when I found the pencil reed vase? It is actually listed on eBay. I will share that listing right here so you can check it out. These are made in the 70s and some of these are designer pieces. While I think I have an authentic Crespi in the vase that I have listed, I'm not sure about this one. The Crespi bowls I think have a little bit of a deeper foot. So this will not be listed as a Crespi, but it is a cool 70s pencil reed bowl. It's kind of a shallow bowl. It's pretty wonderful. I will probably be going over to eBay with this as well. And it's a pretty great find. I paid 35% off of $4 for it. Let's relax. Just kind of looking over the baskets. See kind of a nice one here. Has that longer burger look to it. Yep, it's a longer burger. And no price. Oh, $2. So we will take that. I rarely find longer burger. When I do, it's usually priced really high. <laughs> the longer burger basket company is no longer in business. I see a lot of them sell out of the shops by the lake, which is where Beth and I have a couple of booths. Um, if you don't know that, I will put that information down below. Um, if you're in the Northeast Ohio area, we are in Painesville at the Shops by the Lake. So definitely stop by and check out that place. This is a nice little basket. Has a handle, has a liner that's included in it. And I guess that's kind of a good thing. <laughs> Means that you can actually put a plant or put something in there. I don't know if this one was supposed to have a lid. I don't know a lot about these baskets. So I do know that it has some great colors on it. It is signed and dated. It's dated 1996. I can't read the signature, but has that information on it. And I think this will be a quick sell out of the booth because I have seen those people who are hunting for these baskets over at our shops. All right, we got carts out. Got a giant glass of dog back here. Uh, He's got a crack right down his back. It's cute though. What I did find in here, I'm kind of jazzed about. Bum, bum, bum. What do you think it is? I'm so excited about it. I almost want to tell you because it's something that is super hard to find. And this one is rare and I'm so excited about it. But you're gonna have to wait till Thursday. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so on Thursday, I will be back. We will finish out this shopping trip at the Akron Goodwill. You are going to be blown away because what I'm about to show you, and there is more. I found so many great things. It's still early in the year, but this is definitely the best trip of the year. Super epic. Don't forget tomorrow, 6 p.m., I will be uploading this unlarved sale. Come check it out. And don't forget tonight, 8 p.m. over on Kat's channel, Kat the Nurse Flipper. I will be there with my friend Yvonne and Rod and Kat. And I hope to see you there. Until all of those things, I hope that you are well. And I hope to see you soon.